In this video, I'll demonstrate how to correct for the differences in horizontal and vertical scaling in our videos. This uh, movie clip of a toy train running two laps around the track has two different orange rulers sitting on the floor. The horizontal one, 20 centimeters long, and the vertical one is 20 centimeters long. However, if we look at how many pixels make up those 20 centimeters, horizontally it goes from negative 167 to 149, which is 316 pixels in 20 centimeters, but vertically it's moving from 139 to approximately 147, which is 286 pixels. Because of that difference in pixels, whenever we graph our X and Y positions, instead of having equal amplitudes, the X is a higher amplitude than the Y. So we need to multiply all of our Y values by a correction factor in order to get those the same. So I'm going to take those two values. Our X was 316 pixels and our Y was 286. So I'll take 316 divided by 286 and I get a correction factor of 1.104895. So I'm going to take all of my Y values and multiply by that correction factor. So I go data, new calculated column, and I'll call this Y corrected. And the short name, I'll make this Y star, will be in centimeters. And what I'm going to do is take the 1.1048 5 and I'm going to multiply by my Y column until it's done. I'll also need to do the same thing to the Y velocity. So I'll call this Y velocity corrected and the short name will be Y star VEL. This will also be in centimeters per second. So I'll take that same correction factor, 1.104895, and I'll multiply by all of my Y velocities until it's done. Now something else we want to make sure that we do is get our center in the very center of the track. So although I tried to put it on the place where the tiles intersected, I can go by and look at my left end, negative 367, and then my right end, 365, so that's pretty well centered. My highest dot marked is at 323. The lowest is at negative 322, so that's centered. So now I need to set my scale, and I'll drag the left meter stick and that was 20 centimeters so when I put that in all of my graphs will update now you can see the original X and Y still has different amplitudes even though the units are in centimeters we want to look at the graphs of the X with Y corrected so I go insert graph And when I click on the left, I can tell it to graph the X and the Y corrected. Now when this graph is made, we can see that they have approximately the same amplitudes, which they should. I can also look at a graph of the Y velocities. So when I tell it more, I want to graph Y velocity corrected 
and x velocity. Now whenever this comes up, by default it gives it a certain color, and so I don't want them both to be red, so I can go back and I can change the color of one of them. So my Y star velocity, my corrected, I can go into options and I can change that color. So now on the graph, they have different colors, making them easier to distinguish. This correction is something that could be very useful or necessary to be done anytime you're dealing with two-dimensional motion because the scaling for horizontal and vertical will be different in most movies. So if you're doing projectile motion or this type of circular motion, it's valuable to make that correction.